you know sometimes you just buy things that you know you're not going to like <laughs> I don't know why I got this because <laughs> I've heard people talk about it I've read enough reviews that this is a patchouli bomb so I knew I wouldn't like it and yet for some reason I still bought it because it I there was uh, I got it for really cheap because it's got a damaged box so and it was only a 30 mil and I thought oh I'm gonna try it reason being Britney Spears believe I also didn't know um, I wasn't sure what they were actually gonna send me whether this would be the old formula or the new formula because apparently it opens like this which is kind of cool oh no I've got to take this apart it's gonna be very loud um, so the old formula of this is supposed to be a patchouli bomb and the new formula is not supposed to be quite as strong so but this is the old formula and I know it is because the old formula has this metal um, thing on top I haven't taken off the plastic because I'm not keeping this but um, yeah so it's got this metal plate on the top and the new ones don't have that metal plate so this is the hardcore old old version of this but um, I just, yeah, I mean, I quite like smelling things anyway, and you don't, you can't really test these in stores anymore. Um, so the notes in this, top notes, guava and tangerine, both delicious. Middle notes, lime and honeysuckle, both delicious. Base notes, patchouli, disaster. Um, praline, sometimes okay. And amber, amber's good for me. But yeah, this is, I mean, it is, it's an absolute patchouli bomb. It's, it's basically all I can smell. I mean, well, it's not all I can smell, but it takes over everything in a very, very powerful and pungent way, you know? And, again, kind of sad. If this didn't have patchouli in, I think I'd probably quite like it. I love how you can lie it on different sides as well. I think it's very cool. Such a cool bottle. It's um, this, along with Curious, are definitely the best bottles that, that Britney's ever made, I think. To my taste, anyway. Um yeah I mean it's <laughs> the guava in this the guava note is the nicest guava note I've smelled in any perfumes that have a guava note so it's absolutely winning in that respect it's kind of fresh and juicy and sweet but they've really captured the smell of the guava perfectly in this perfume however yeah the patchouli is nuts like it's nuts and it's like a really <sighs> It's a very green and earthy patchouli that I just cannot cannot cope with at all. So that this one's not going to stay with me because it's just far too patchouli heavy. But if it didn't have patchouli and I would absolutely definitely like this perfume. I can tell. I can tell that without that patchouli note, I would like it. I'm not going to purchase the other one because I, there's still patchouli in it. So there's no point in me getting a new version of this. It's just slightly less patchouli because this is way too much patchouli. So even if you pull it back a bit, it's still going to be too much for me but if you like patchouli either if you have no problem with it or you like patchouli this is the nicest guava um, perfume that I've smelled um, by a mile and I have smelled like I think this is like the fifth one that I've smelt so this is yeah this is a this is a good quality a nice perfume it's just not it's just not for me um, but it's pretty cool and I do love the bottle. That's two lush Britney bottles I have to get rid of because I can't wear the juice inside, but never mind. You know, I'll get over it. 